Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the Satoshi Club, where today I'm going to talk to you about how you can invest in the crypto market when it is completely uncertain. Now, uncertainty is a weird word. It's a weird terminology. The market is generally uncertain and the crypto market is generally even more uncertain than the normal one, which is why I'm going to show you a few ways where you can reduce your uncertainty when trading or investing for the long term using a couple of interesting tools. Now, my personal favorite tool to use is the US 500 or the index of the 500 top companies in the USA. Now, before I go on with the rest of the video, if you do enjoy it, guys, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, comment down below with your favorite thoughts, but most importantly, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of this news in the future. I'm going to blow your mind in the next seven, eight minutes, so make sure to stay tuned. Now, coming back to the US 500, it is the index of the top 500 companies in the USA, and it does show us what the market is doing, and it is correlated to Bitcoin as well. So as you can see, what happened right here was the COVID-19 or sorry, COVID, was it COVID-19 or COVID-21? No, yeah, COVID-19. So COVID basically started back in 2020 March and the market dropped very substantially. But after that, what happened was a large amount of stimulus packages started being drawn out and inflation started increasing, which basically meant that a lot of people had spare money to put into the market and make it rise. Now, why am I telling you this? Well, just for the purely simple reason that within that same period of time, Bitcoin and all cryptos had the same amount of growth, right? So they're correlated. And if they're correlated, that means that we can use the US 500 to reduce our levels of uncertainty when trying to trade Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency out there. Now, I'm going to get into a little bit more depth about this. But first and foremost, I wanted to complete my story about the US 500 and why it is very, very important. Now, the market currently is looking quite bullish right but this could be a fake bullish so this is why you need to be very very careful when investing into crypto or anything else what we did see recently was a pce index or the core personal consumption price index in the usa came in at 0.6 percent month on month now what does this mean it means that inflation is still increasing that is not good but it is good for the market. So if you see that inflation is increasing, it means that prices are increasing on average. And it means that it is generally a bullish thing for the market and people will take it as a bullish signal, even though it is completely stupid to take it as a bullish signal, right? Because inflation is not good, especially when we see that the US uh, has had two, not one, but two quarters in uh, negative GDP growth at this point, which signifies a literal recession happening right now. So I don't know how the market can be bullish, but it does seem to me like a fake out towards the upside before we do continue towards more downside. Now, what's going to happen with the crypto market as well? If we look at Bitcoin now, I'm only going to talk about Bitcoin, Ethereum, the US 500 and US oil uh, for today's video, because I use these two to help me, you know, trade these two up on top. Uh, but also what I use is a few websites, which I will show you in a second or two. But what is happening right now? Well, we're seeing a lot of coll collection, collection, correction patterns on Bitcoin and price is generally moving towards more downside. Now, you could say that we did form a bottom around the 18K level, but I beg to differ because we're still experiencing rate hikes from pretty much every central bank in the world, starting with the Fed. The moment that I believe that you should start dollar cost averaging which is the ultimate strategy when it comes to investing into the crypto market. So DCA, uh, but uh, you know, DCA right here is quite useless if rate hikes are still undergoing, right? What we should wait for is, you know, price to rebound, potentially come back from the 30K level and continue moving down as a result of more and more rate hikes coming in. There is no reason for the market to continue moving up as the rate hikes are coming in because it simply means that people will start to tend to save more money and invest less of their money and also a lot of these other economic uh, reasons that I won't get into too much detail right now for this video, but I might talk about in the future. Well, I will for sure. Um, if there's anything that interests you specifically, such as how consumption and saving impact the economy, such as, for example, how I know that the next bull run will come for sure is OK. I have to give you a little sneak peek. Now, the next bull run, what's going to happen is people are going to be overly scared of, you know, a new war coming out, a new recession coming out, new COVID coming out. Everybody's going to start saving money on a massive scale. 
when you have saving that is larger than consumption in an economy it is bad and it triggers a recession so negative gdp growth because too much money is sitting around doing nothing what's going to happen right then stimulus checks will come back Printing of money will come back. And once all that starts, inflation starts coming back once again. And the market starts from moving down. It continues moving back up. And that's what causes the next bull run. Now, the only question is when that is going to happen, which is why my firm advice. Now, by the way, I'm not a financial advisor and you should do your own due diligence before investing into anything in the crypto world. But my, you know, so to speak, advice for you is to wait until the Fed says that they're going to stop hiking rates and from that moment onwards, start dollar cost averaging. Because they're going to say, let's say two months from now, they say, okay, we're going to increase interest rates. Uh, we're going to stop increasing interest rates in uh, March of 2023, right? And even though that is only, it's like a year from now, right? It's eight months from now. Well, it doesn't matter because the market, as soon as they hear the news, is going to start pricing it in. So that's the moment that the market is going to take a little dip and then start moving in another bull run now that's kind of my prediction when it comes to bitcoin itself and uncertainty in the market what you can do to make it easier for yourself is keep in touch with news events keep in touch with the us 500 keep in touch with oil prices and inflation those are the four macroeconomic indicators that you need to take into consideration for example if you want to know when bitcoin will stop making this fake run towards the upside and start moving down again well it's very simple just head on over onto the us 500 and check this level out right here now currently we're hitting the 50 period moving average it's a level of previous support it is a level of resistance right now and i do expect the price to start rebounding at some point right here since it is a significant level of resistance if you want to know where the potential bottom is well my personal prediction well it's not a personal prediction it's something very logical and using a tool that has been around for quite some time which is the fibonacci tool well, we have the Fibonacci tool drawn from the beginning of COVID all up until the height of the bull run. Well, I believe that somewhere around the 3.2K level for the S&P 500 will be the bottom of this recessionary period. And from then on, we can start to make a reversal pattern and continue moving for new highs. Bitcoin will coincide with that same information somewhere around the 10K mark, maybe even a little bit lower. So brace yourself and be happy that it is coming back to a lower price once again so that you are able to take advantage of dollar cost averaging and investing into a portfolio of your dream while prices are at a discount. It's very important. And, you know, for Ethereum, when it comes to Ethereum, you should uh, probably just wait for the same uh, thing that I just said when it comes to Bitcoin and all of these other cryptos, just dollar cost average once you hear that the Fed will stop hiking rates. That's very important. Now, one more thing that I want to mention before the end of the video is, first of all, Coindesk is pretty cool. And second of all, if you want to know more about news and all of these rate hikes and all of this stuff going on, I highly recommend heading on over to forexfactory.com, pressing the filter button, pressing the green or not not green sorry red and orange news because they are more more of high impact news and basically just paying attention to everything going on so if you paid attention today you would see that the core pc price index was in the green so it was larger than expected which means that inflation was larger than expected which means that it will have a fake bullish effect on the market which means that as you can see the market is moving bullish when it comes to ethereum bitcoin us 500 everything because it's all correlated now that's it for today's video uncertainty is a very very difficult thing in the market and the best thing that you can do is try to reduce your risk when trading so what you can do is pay attention to news pay attention to correlated indexes and most importantly just be careful and be patient so that's it for today's video make sure to subscribe if you did enjoy it leave a like comment down below with your favorite thoughts or if you want to see something special in the future and i will see you all in the next one